Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, we will look at the process to integrate your third-party applications with Tally Prime. Where Tally Prime application and data is configured on AWS virtual computer. Businesses are using many third-party applications integrated with Tally Prime, which help businesses push or pull data to and from Tally Prime. However, installing any third-party applications in the Tally Prime on AWS environment is not possible since the virtual computer is running on Linux operating system and Tally Prime is made compatible to run using a secure Vine layer. Thus, to integrate Tally Prime on AWS with local applications, a gateway connection is set up between virtual computer and local Windows applications. Tally Prime on AWS integrates with local applications using this gateway connection to exchange data. Thus, you can continue to have third-party applications on local Windows and allow exchange of data with Tally Prime on AWS. This setup allows two types of integration with Tally Prime running on AWS. Firstly, ODBC methods. Example, extract the data in Excel through ODBC connection. Secondly, HTTP or SOAP protocol methods. Example, XML interface, JSON interface, and Tally to web services using API. Note that, if data integration is implemented using an EXE file, the same is not supported. Let us see how to enable synchronization of virtual computer with local applications. To integrate Tally Prime on AWS with third-party applications that are on local windows, you have to first set up the sync between your virtual computer and the third-party applications. You can enable this sync from the self-service portal. To enable synchronization of virtual computer with local applications, log in to self-service portal using owner or admin login credentials. You will notice that the layout of the self-service portal is different. The columns are redesigned to give better access to options that you use more regularly. For example, the connect is now a button option and is out of the more action submenu for users accessing through browser. Similarly, other changes are made to improve accessibility and discoverability. Click the actions option against the computer for which you want to enable sync with local apps. From the submenu, click settings and then advanced settings. Set the option allow synchronizing virtual office with local applications to yes. A warning message is shown to use virtual computer connection client 1.2 or later versions to get the sync options. Click save. Options are shown to give sync access to current user or any other user. Choose the option as per your requirement. Let us see how to reassign sync permission to a different user. When you enable sync with local applications, you get a message to give sync permission to the current user or to assign access rights to another user from the manage user option. In case you assign the rights to the current user, you can override the settings and reassign the permission to a different user later. All you must do is disallow access to the current user and give access permission to another one. To disallow a user from starting sync, click Actions and click Settings. Click Manage Users. In the Manager User screen, click Action against the user you want to remove permission. Click Edit. The option Allow to Sync Local Applications appears only when Sync with Local Apps feature is enabled for the virtual office. The status appears as Yes for user with rights to sync and No for users who do not have access to sync. Set the option Allow to Sync Local Applications to No to disallow sync capabilities to this user. Click Save. You can now give access to Sync Virtual Computer with local apps to another user. To give permission to another user, click Settings and Manage Users. In the Manage Users screen, click Action against the required user. 
click edit. Set the option allow to sync local applications to yes. Click save. This user can now sync the virtual computer with local apps. Let us see how to sync virtual computer with local apps. You will have to upgrade the virtual computer client to version 1.2 in order to use the sync with local apps feature. You can download the client from self-service portal and install it on your system. The options related to sync are only shown in client version 1.2 and not in earlier versions. In case you are an existing user of Tally Prime on AWS, upgrade the client. To sync, log in to the virtual computer client version 1.2 using the credentials of the user given permission to sync. You will notice some changes to the design of the client window. The column Sync with Local Apps settings and the bottom bar showing the legend for the status of Sync are only available to users given permission to sync virtual computer with local apps. To start the sync, click the stop button in the Sync with Local Apps column of the required virtual machine. The button turns to yellow with status as started. This changes to yellow when Tally Prime is not running on the virtual computer. You can see the status details of each color in the legend given at the bottom of the screen. Click connect to start the virtual computer. Start Tally Prime in your virtual computer. As soon as Tally Prime starts, the color of the sync button changes to green as you can see. This indicates that Tally Prime on virtual computer is ready to exchange data with local applications installed on the desktop computer. Let us see how to extract data from Tally Prime on AWS using Excel ODBC. Ensure that Tally Prime is running on AWS and the required company is open. Open Excel in your local desktop, go to Data. In the Data tab, click Get Data and then click From Other Sources. Click the option from Microsoft Query from the list of From Other Sources. In the Choose Data Source subscreen, select the right DSN. The default DSN for Tally Prime is Tally on AWS ODBC 64 underscore 9000. In case you change the port number in Tally Prime, the DSN name may differ. Click OK. Select the data table and select the required fields you want to extract and click load. Tally Prime sends the data and is shown in Excel. Similarly, you can use the default data exchange methods in Tally Prime to extract data from AWS machine. You can also exchange data with mobile applications and DMS applications that you have set up to get data from Tally Prime. However, the data extraction through EXE are not supported. In addition to starting sync manually, you can configure to start synchronization automatically. To sync when you connect your virtual computer, click the settings option against the respective computer and set the option connecting to virtual office to yes. Whenever you connect to the virtual computer, the sync will start automatically. To sync when you log into your virtual computer connection client, set the option logging into client to yes. Whenever you log into the client, the sync will start automatically. You can click on Sync Connectivity Information to get detailed information about the Sync Connection Setup and Status. Sometimes you may see error in the Sync with Local App Status. This happens when the gateway that enables integration of local apps with virtual computer is facing a connectivity issue. You can refresh the connection or reset the connection to resolve the error status. As you can see in the virtual connection client, the status of sync appears as error. To reset the connection, click the error button. System will re-establish the sync by rebooting gateway connection. Once the integration setup is reset, the status changes to started. 
As you saw, using this feature you can integrate your third-party applications with Tally Prime on AWS. You can continue to have third-party applications on local windows and allow exchange of data with Tally Prime from virtual computer on AWS. Thank you. For more details, visit lcom.digital/help.